crafts. So I couldn't sleep and I was just working on my bag B. Sorry, just picking up my pillows. Bag B of Heavenly Sunset puzzle and on these tree leaves and that a bit. And I just decided, um, even though I haven't been feeling the best, that I would <laughs> try and live stream for a bit whilst we connect some of these. Yeah, I hope you'll enjoy this anyway. And yeah, I just thought, well, it's not going to hurt to just stream for a bit and see how it goes. And yeah, I can always hop off when I need to. And yeah, so. And yes, it is late night stream for me. <laughs> so um, yeah. But yes, I just needed to try and do something. Well, I was trying to do something to take my mind off how I'm feeling. Pretty much. But yeah. No, that one doesn't fit there, okay. Yes, so late night live stream it is tonight. It is. I'm just going to go and look. Rather than leaning across the table, I've started realising if I lean too much on the table, it might tip off, which is no good. Yep, that one does go there. Woohoo! I 
I'm trying to finish my palm tree stems to try and make the leaves a little easier to connect and match up. Hopefully. I'll shift those off because I keep knocking them down. You stupid thing. <sighs> okay, so sorry this stupid being hooked on the lights and I hit the button to put it up and yeah. Now I gotta adjust the whole thing again.
Listen, try not to hit the button that makes it go up. Oh, that gave me a fright. That started happening. Probably got photos, a photo that I'll have to wipe out of it going right up like that. <laughs> it probably took a photo right at that time. <sighs> Technology.
Don't do that again, you silly thing. Not even touching it.
Hi Emma, welcome to the stream. How are you? I'm good, just having a break between cleaning my hamster cages out. Nice, fair enough. Yeah, I've just been dealing with my adjustable table going high and low on me, so I'm betting that I'm going to have some time-lapse photos because it's probably, it's adjusted things a bit because the table was bumping things, so I'm probably going to have to go through the photos or, or I'll have some messed up photos in this lot. 
because my I I did it was weird. I didn't even touch the button and it just went up a couple of times. So who knows? Maybe I've got a ghost here or something. Maybe I do. I know, just trying to work out what goes where with these stems. I told you you did after that video you uploaded. Yeah, well it was really weird. It was just, I was standing here. I didn't, the button's over here near the computer. I didn't touch the button. And I'm not sure if maybe it's the dog cage or something underneath, but it just went right up all of a sudden like someone was holding on to it. Because you have to be holding on to it to keep the button going. Just kept going up till it moved the light up and everything. It's like, okay. And then it tried to do it again a second time. <laughs> it was like, creepy. It was like I was standing near it, but I didn't touch it. So, uh, who knows? Hang on, I just need to move these over and then I can sort of move the computer up this way where I can see it because I'm trying to shuffle between at the moment and I can't read the distance stuff. So I'm trying to get these stems out and then these coconut bits to see if that'll make the leaves easier on this piece. Trying to doesn't mean that it's guaranteed to. I've got to try and get some sleep sometime, but yeah, just trying to do something whilst I'm not feeling the best. That's why I haven't been around a lot lately because I just haven't been feeling good. I'm kind of very quickly running out of energy trying to do this as well at the moment, but yeah. messages and check the messages in a minute I'll be quickly come around and check <sighs> it's 
Just someone popping in and saying hello, making sure you're good. Yeah, thank you, Emma. Just trying to do my best between not feeling well and all the rest, so. Hoping give it time, I'll start feeling a lot better, but it's just time, I guess. Just gotta wait and see. So yeah, I really haven't been well lately. Still not well in all honesty, but just trying to do a bit of something. Can I only try at the end of the day? I'll just move the computer up this way so that I can see messages a bit easier whilst I try and work around this side a little bit. So I've got most of the bottom bits with the stems done. I've got to move things up now. Just got to try and remember not to lean on this table too much one way because of the. Don't want to tip it off. It's moving, yeah, I know, I can tell because I'm trying to lean across it because I can't stand up for long in that at the moment. This is why I haven't been doing a lot with it because it's been very awkward and I keep moving the table by accident because I just can't, I am having to put a lot of weight onto the table currently. It doesn't work out that well. It doesn't. But yeah, I don't think that one was a ghost. I think that one was me causing it to move. I think it was. me making it move again. I'm 
just need to go and get my dog in because she's starting to bark. But yes, basically it's me accidentally moving the board and making things crooked because of that. And that camera is really not a, a good angle for taking photos. So some of the photos are probably all messed up, which means I'll probably just cut them out. Might even go and quickly check that in a minute and get it out because I don't think I'm going to be able to go for too much longer. Unfortunately. I'll get you some water. Good girl. Good girl. I love your dress. Oh, thank you. It's actually a nighty. <laughs> it is. Could probably be worn as a dress, but yeah, it's actually a nighty. It is. check the photos once the batteries dies just because I want to see what's been messed up instead of remove and transfer the photos off just so safe not sorry not to mention it's a bit difficult at the moment with how I'm feeling and everything and trying to lean on things is not working as easily as I was hoping it would be able to do it <laughs> unfortunately I just thought I'd try and there it goes place that one there and I'll check these camera cards and that might make it easier if I move the homegrown apples in the other chair but 
here. It's a bare dog crate and that doesn't make it any easier either. It looks hard. Ew, the table isn't usually hard. It's just the fact that at the moment, because of how I'm feeling and that's dropped too far then, because of how I'm feeling at the moment and that, I'm having to lean on the table a lot and it's moving it more than I usually would. Because I'm finding it very hard to stay upright and all the rest, so it's like, yeah, not easy to do the large puzzles. So this is why I did some smaller puzzles for a bit and then pulled out the larger one again because I wanted to try and get some of these finished and pick one to see the larger ones, but I'm not finding it easy at the end of the day, unfortunately, just due to how I'm feeling. But can only try, I guess. Oh, the jigsaw. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Mixed messages. Yeah, I guess this is the bag B of Heavenly Sunset. So you would have seen the time lapse for the first one, that, that front bit. What I wanted to do, I wanted to get the second bit with the sky over and done with. So this is the second part of that that sky basically so I'll put it there but the leaf all these big palm leaves they were other than like the sky was a challenge yes but all these big palm leaves with all the different patterns that was the real and the that was and I think the temple a bit but the palm leaves were the real challenge and I was struggling with those again Last time I focused on doing those before the stems, but I decided this time to try and give me a bit more to work with with the palm leaves. Um, I would try and get the stems up there so that I've got an idea where the palm leaves fit. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly switch the battery over and chain, check the camera card. But the jigsaw isn't the hardest I've ever done. It's just more working out, getting the colours, the patterns, and that all connected together. It is. Once you start getting it together and figuring it out, it's not as difficult as you sort of think, but it's just about getting it together meanwhile. But yes, excuse me, my brain's fried and not working correctly. Hence, I confused what you were saying. Thank you. 
accidentally turned it on. But yeah. It's not as hard as it seems, the jigsaw. It's just seems harder at the moment just because of how I'm feeling and that. That's what's making it harder right at this point in time. Because last time wasn't so difficult, but at least now I've found a professor who was able to help me get better and all the rest, so that's awesome at the end of the day. I'm just quickly checking these and then I'm going to try. Oh, it's just got it in still, even with the crooked stuff. Hello, paper girl. Hello, P3 Gaming. It's way too early for you to be doing puzzles. Yes, I know. Blame it on not being able to sleep easily. Because of everything that's going on, like pain with the hand and wrist and all the rest. I've actually got a proper bracing under here, but I wrap this so that Prince doesn't get <laughs> caught up. He's in no bed at the moment. But, yeah... I haven't been doing puzzles much for ages and so I decided to attempt to do a song but it's more difficult than I thought so just thanks to how I've been feeling but yeah can only try I guess I was just checking these photos to see that there was nothing wrong with them after I bumped things But yeah, there is. I can't tell. So we shall remove it. Bye bye, Papa. Yeah, good girl, Lils. Basically, I'm probably going to sign off and see if I can get some rest soon or not. Sucks that you're not sleeping well. Yeah. It does, but I'm going to go and try and go back to sleep shortly because the new professor I'm seeing and that says I need to try and if I can't sleep, she told me get up and try and do something, I guess, because of um, yeah, I need to try and change how I think of my bed as a rest, as a place to lie in and all of that to do with all the stuff that's going on but basically I've got answers at least as to what is going on with me and that now so but yeah I'm gonna thinking I'm gonna try and go to bed soon because this is a lot harder than I thought it would be because I'm attempting it for the first time in a while. I am. I was just trying to do a bit off camera while sitting. The sitting's easy. It's the standing that's really hard on me at the moment. Unfortunately. So yeah. That sucks. But at least I tried. That's what matters at the end of the day is that I tried. Move this over there. Move the dog crate back the other way. So 
So um, I can try and sit and do a bit here. Because that's a little easier. Hi King James, how's your day? Exhausted and not feeling the best. Struggling with trying to do my puzzle, but I'm trying. I am. Trying is better than nothing, I guess, at the end of the day. I don't know how much longer I'll be on just because I am kind of struggling, but yeah, just wanted to try. I just woke up so my day is just getting started. Nice King James, that's awesome. I keep moving this puzzle table on board by accident because I can't lean over things easily at the moment and I've got, because I'm getting breathless and that, trying to stand up and everything. So it's a whole pain in the backside at the moment. Very much pain in the backside. How long is that table? It just fits a 6,000 piece puzzle. It's 180 centimeters long by about 120 centimeters wide the board is but it's got an adjustable bit on the bottom when I need it but it adjusted itself just a short while ago without me really touching it and <laughs> caused hassles I don't think it's affected the time-lapse photos I think I've just avoided that but still a pain in the butt shall we say that it did that was pain in the backside. close as I can so I can see. No, so I'm just working on a 1,000. I might start a 200 after, not sure yet, 2,000. Fair enough. No, I'm wishing in some ways I'd kept going with the 1,000 pieces for a bit. Like, I wanted to finish this one. I really did. But I'm really struggling with just how I've been feeling lately, trying to work on it. This is my first time in a month or more attempting to do this. 
And yeah, I'm finding it hard, shall we say, but I'm just trying. I am. I'm finding I'm having to try and lean on it a lot and everything else so yeah hello Nils love you darling good girl aren't ya but yeah so I may depending on how it all works I may have to go back to doing a bit of the 1000 pieces so or the smaller puzzles for a bit just whilst I start getting better but at least now I've got I found the doctor I went to see can actually help so it's just now time and just working on things at time kind of thing so yeah at least now I've and she's certain that I've got, the, that I'm, will be able to get better than I am. So, you could always scale it down a little to it until you're feeling better. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing after this. Well, after this one, I just kind of wanted to try and finish it, but I haven't worked on it for a month because, yeah, just takes me a lot of effort trying to do it. I want to do it, doesn't mean that I don't want to do it, but I've been struggling to do a lot of things, but as this doctor also says, you've got to try and move as you can, but the energy stuff doesn't help in that, and, but yeah, it's just time. She's certain I'll be a lot better, but it's going to take years to get better. So, but at least now I have the chance of getting better than, I, whereas I didn't really have that chance much before, so. It's a start anyway. It is, it's a good start anyway. Yeah, the problem is now that I've got this more here, with more pieces done, I can't fold it all up like I would have with, with it before to do the smaller ones as I could. So, yeah. I'll just keep plodding away meanwhile. I'll get, there. I'll get it done eventually. Even if it takes some time, it's okay. Any new puzzles come in recently? Only the 33,600 that I showed a video haul of. I may have some thousand piece ones coming in soon, but 
we're still waiting on the graphica to come into the graphica and postage halts because of all the floods and stuff in Australia and all the rest so it's all kind of just waiting till things get here kind of thing basically it is Not sure if that goes up there or not. But. What graphic I did your order? These are ones through Brisbane Puzzle Shop that I'm getting them to do reviews on in a bit. But there's, I can't say all of them because I can't remember all of them. But I know for sure there is the 54,000 travel around art one and the 48,000 travel around the world one in there. So I know there's the 48,000 and the 54,000 in there. But I can't remember all the others because <laughs> it's been a long time since I requested them to review for her and that. But it's something that I'll work on as time goes and as I feel better. But I'm just grateful that now at least I have the chance to get better because I've found someone who can help me kind of thing with this new doctor. So that's a good thing and a positive thing at the end of the day that at least eventually it's going to take time. It's not going to be fast or anything, but with time I will be able to do more things and do more of what I love and get back to things again and regain my life and my health back and all of that. So that's a good thing. But yeah, there's definitely the 48,000 Graphica and the 54,000 Graphica in those ones that are coming. There is. I can't remember all the others, but yeah, I know those ones are in there anyway. Yeah, yeah, I've got to try and turn my mindset around because I was struggling. I started getting into that bit of feeling like, oh, this is too hard, blah, 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 all that stuff again. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's like as she said to say, I may not be feeling great today and I may be struggling. But every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. And at least now I have the chance to get better. I'm still working on the service dog stuff too. Hello, Lils. And I'm hoping between that and what she does, I'll basically regain my life and be able to do things and do what I love again. Nice, that's a lot of puzzling there. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should get you to go back and count how many pieces there actually are in my collections now. I know there's another 19 1,000 piece puzzles going to be coming shortly. <laughs> Maybe I should be, but yes, because I just recently added the 33,000 and all the rest and uh, yeah. I'm never going to be short of puzzles to do for this channel, but I'm not going to be putting all the 
doing all the large puzzles in one go and then not having them for later. I'm going to try and spread it out between large and small and all the rest. It's my intentions anyway, or what I'm thinking of doing. Vanessa here yeah, I'm back as best I can I decided to try even though I wasn't feeling great so yeah here I am I'm attempting it but I'm really struggling with the large puzzles and how I'm feeling but I just wanted to try at the end of the day I just got my 9,000 forest dragon puzzle yesterday from Raven's Badger Nice. Was that my fault, King James, that you ordered that one? <laughs> Just curious if that was my fault that you ordered it. I haven't seen anyone else haul it yet, but on YouTube, but yeah. But yeah, I'm just trying to do my best because I've just got to focus on trying to, well, believing that I will get better and that I, I will get back to the things that I love again because I want to get my life back and do the things that I love again. So, but it's just going to take time. And yeah. I'm just grateful that I've found someone who knows now what's going on with me and can help me to get a lot better and I'm hoping between that and the service dog puppy give it a well it's not going to be years till I'm probably better but between all of that I will get my life back and that'll be so awesome and exciting yeah kinda I've been eyeing it for a while now and I finally sort of know as I got it. <laughs> nice. I had it on pre-order for months before it came in. I did. But yeah, I don't know if you saw the 33,000 one on the channel or not, King James. I don't know if you did. But yeah, I finally... I was starting to think the 33,000 Ajuka was probably one that I wasn't going to end up with and that it would go out of stock, out of um, discontinued before I got it. And then it all of a sudden turned up in Australia. But some of the other, those, the 19 1,000 piece puzzles that are on there that are going to be coming soon are basically because I had other puzzles that I had on pre-order they were discontinued and so I got a whole heap of credit back and so I kept the credit and switched it for 19 puzzles I ordered it last week and it came yesterday so mine only took like eight days to come yeah mine arrived within one day I think it was mine did after it was shipped it's pretty good I guess Sorry, I'm not sighing at everyone there or at the puzzle particularly. It's just I'm having a bit of troubles with breathing and stuff like that at the moment. But, yeah. I just have to remember that in time, I will be a lot better than I am now. It's going to take time.
and I saw the 33,600. I want that one. Might be my next big puzzle, not sure yet. The shipping is like $200 because it's a wooden box, so it's heavy. I got it for like $18 shipping here in Australia, but it was basically because me and um, another person at least had had on pre-order. It didn't even go on sale in the shop. We just got it. We got it ourselves after it, but it took over 12 months for it to get in here to Australia. It did. It took well over 12 months before it came in. But yeah, it's definitely heavy. I struggled to get it inside here. I did. Last two months ago, I've gotten six 5,000 piece puzzles from Ravensburger, so I don't really need more puzzles. I just want them before they don't make them. Yeah, that's a lot of the reason I've gotten mine, and now I'm working with Brisbane Puzzle Shop as well. And, yeah, she's still waiting for the Graphica puzzles to come in. I'm also working on blogs and stuff for the Brisbane Puzzle Shop as I can, but she understands that I can do it when when my health's okay kind of thing so that's awesome and yeah I just need to not get down about things right now because I'm struggling Yeah, Very Puzzlings renamed themselves to the Brisbane Puzzle Shop and transferred things over there because they're working on opening up a actual storefront. So they changed their name. Very Puzzling changed to Brisbane Puzzle Shop because they're working on opening up a puzzle storefront and all of that. So they've basically switched over their name to do that. They have and also so that it's easier for people to find them on the internet and that sort of thing. That was another reason for doing the name change as well. Make things a bit easier for people to find them and all of that. It was. Yeah. But yeah, Brisbane Puzzle Shop or Very Puzzling has actually been really nice about sort of doing things as I'm able kind of thing. They understand that I'm able to do things as I'm able and feel up to it. So, but I am hopeful now that give it 
however many years it takes to get better between that and the service dog and all the rest and I'll have a basically normal life back which will be awesome and very exciting to be able to do what I love in life and all of that do you know how long they normally take to ship Depends on, like, they've actually stopped doing pre-order things because a lot of people are actually getting up them because they weren't shipping things out fast enough, stuff like that. So it depends on sort of what's in stock and all of that sort of stuff. But um, usually, well, what I've done for some other people here with some people have ordered from them and because of all the COVID stuff and that, they actually haven't been able to ship what they've ordered and all of that. And then there were issues with PayPal, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and so I basically um, stepped in and sorted this. We got the stuff sorted out with her and refunds sorted and all of that. But, yeah, it sort of depends because she's got some chronic health issues as well, but she's trying to do her best to get things out and all of that sort of stuff. And yeah, she normally tries to ship things out as fast as she can kind of thing. Depends on public holidays and all the rest. But yeah, I can't actually say how fast she ships because I don't have a part in that because she's in Queensland. I'm down in Victoria, so it's like... But I know that she does try to get them out as soon as possible once it's once the order's done kind of thing. But I can keep a check on things if you do get something. I'm working on 13,200 Disney Orchestra 1. I've finished parts A and D. Now I mix bags B and E. Oh, nice, Vanessa. That's awesome. Glad. hope you're enjoying it. I hope you are. But yeah, I can't actually say how fast they are at shipping per se, but I know she does her best to get things out as soon as she as soon as she can for those who have ordered kind of thing. So I know that's probably not a lot of help, but yeah. Okay, I was just wondering because I ordered something like six weeks ago and haven't gotten any updates on it. But it's understandable with COVID. I ordered from the only site. Okay, King James, do you have my email address? Oh, from the old site. Um, yeah, she's since switched over. Do you have my email address, King James? Can you send me your tracking number and that and I'll chase it up with her tomorrow or later today or later this morning? If you send that to me via email, if you paid by PayPal or something, please send a PayPal invoice number so that she can track it down and that, and I will work out what's going on with her and get back to you about it as I can kind of thing. So it might have gotten mixed up with the COVID stuff or she might have sent it or it might not have been able to have been sent and she did, um, she probably would have done the refund but things could have messed up with PayPal or something again you don't know but if you send through all all the invoice ID number or and all of that and the email through to me I will try and chase it up for you and see what I can find out with regards to it I will but if you email the details through to me I'll try and I'll work on chasing it up for you. I didn't use PayPal, I think I got your email. Yeah. Well just whatever you used for it with the invoice and the email saying about your order. If you can send it through to me and I'll work it out with her. I'll get in contact with her about it tomorrow or whatever. I'm probably gonna go to bed soon and that but yeah I'll Work it out with her as, or 
aim to work it out with her or find out what's happened and then we can chase it up and work it out. Again, problems with your hand. Yes, problems with my hand again, Vanessa. And problems with a lot of other things too, like blood pressure issues and all the rest, which is why I haven't been doing a lot lately because I just haven't felt well enough to do a lot. But yes, I can't seem to escape the hand and wrist issues and all the rest. <laughs> as much as I wish I could. Not that easy, unfortunately. But yeah. Hello, Lils. Ah, oh, I'm tilting the puzzle table again. But yeah, they reckon that I've mostly solved the what they reckon could be ulnar ish, um, the ulnar nerve issues. But now they reckon the the bone here could be moving, and that's probably what's still causing so much pain for me. Because every time I try to do something, or do something that I enjoy or something that I love again, I end up in pain again, so. But I basically found out from this doctor that I went to that literally my bone is in a catabolic state and is basically eating its own muscle, connective tissue and bone to try and deal with the state it's in. And it's literally falling apart on me. So, yeah. Literally, my body is falling, trying, attempting to fall apart on me at the moment. And it's not going to be quick fix or simple or easy or any of that. But she's... This doctor's got to try and stop it from happening and going to try and reverse things and fix things a lot more so that hopefully I can get my life back. So sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, there's not a lot I can do about it. I've just got to try and start on the things that she's starting me on and that and hopefully with time I will get some improvement and get better and be able to get back to doing all the things that I love again. That's the goal at the end of the day and to be able to have kids and stuff like that. And hi Suzanne, nice to see you again. How long have you been live? Uh, since 1.50am and it's now 3.17am but I'm struggling. But I'm just trying to do stuff and take my mind off how I'm feeling so yeah. At least a couple of hours I've been live, I guess. Hello, Nils. What you doing, darling? But yeah, I'm probably going to have to sign off soon and see if I can get some rest. But yeah. If you email me through those details, King James, I'll aim to chase up with with them about your order, find it, and then we can work out what's happened. So I know at one point she had to cancel some stuff, some orders too, because of things. And so who knows what might have happened? No deals. Rebecca the cat is getting big? Nice, I'm sure she would be. I'm sure she would. But yeah. At the end of the day, as I keep telling myself, at least there's hope now to get better and be able to live life and enjoy life and do all the rest. And that's what matters at the end of the day. It is. Just gotta keep trying and eventually I'll get there. Well, 
will do this afternoon. Got to do a few things first. Yes, that's okay. I'll just keep an eye out for it because I'll probably try and go to bed and get some rest soon anyway. So I won't be doing it straight away, but yeah. When I put my order number in this side, it said, just said it was waiting for fulfillment. Yeah, well, I'll chase it up, King James. Sometimes with the amount of orders and that that go in, sometimes things can get confused. And with all the COVID stuff, it's kind of, it hasn't necessarily made things easy. But I'll try and follow up, I'll follow up with her and try and work out what is going on and what's happened and Hopefully we can get it sorted and worked out. So, yeah, just send me the details and I'll chase it up with her about it and we'll try and get it sorted out. We will. I will, I'll try and get it sorted out for you and work out what's going on. Welcome. You are? But yeah, just email through to me all the details and the order email and I'll pass it on to her and we'll get it sorted out. COVID getting better in Australia? I think so. I've stopped following all of that stuff because it was just getting me down, so. But they're sort of slowly, I think, letting in, oh, not letting in, but they're basically slowly, I think, easing restrictions and letting things get more back to normal, but yeah. Yeah, I think it's slowly getting better, but I sort of stopped following that stuff just because with how I've been feeling and that, it was not helping at the end of the day. I'm 
thinking I can't focus anymore so I think I might have to sort of stop for now and leave it there just because I'm sort of not feeling the best as I said so I think I'm going to stop and leave it there for now and keep working on it another time so yeah and yeah just send me that email when you can King James and I'll follow it up so I'll try I'll follow it up with her and see if we can get it sorted out so yeah Yeah, I'll aim to sort that out and yeah, I'll just move this stuff back. I will move the computer back here. Yeah, thank you, Suzanne. You take care too. Yep, I'll see you later, King James. And yeah, it's just going to be time. That's all it is. Just time and patience and I'll get there. I'm going to get better. Because I do not want to stay like this and I want to get back to doing what I love again. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep working towards it. But yeah, have a great day anyway. And yeah, I'll see you all later. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Yeah, thank you, Vanessa. I will take a good rest. Hope everyone has a good day or evening wherever you are. I really do.